Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some workbooks that I picked up this week on Book Outlet. This was actually my first purchase from Book Outlet. I did go and find some various um, adult coloring books there. And then I noticed that they had these Tinker Active books. I had actually never heard of these and I wanted to get a few to look at, to review, and to maybe do a little bit of a flip through with you. So what they had were the kindergarten books, the first grade books, and two of the three second grade books. And let me move the stack of these out of the way and we'll go through a few of them together. Okay, so these are the kindergarten books. There's an English or a language arts book, a math book, and a science book. And they all say that they have 128 pages of exercises for English, math, and science. You may be able to see that these are color-coded books. So the kindergarten books are this kind of graduated green. The first grade book books are blue, and the second grade books are purple. If we want to open these guys up, they are, um, they're, they're like really nice and thick and sturdy and not bendy to hold. I don't know if you can kind of see it. it's not really moving at all like a workbook would. And so this is just what they look like on the inside. So it says this is rated for ages five to six and um, here they're talking about the alphabet. There's this really great illustration of alphabet soup reviewing the um, letter sounds. Some engineering things. Here's some reading fundament fundamentals as well. A little bit of handwriting practice. So it looks like it's pretty well rounded. So then we have here this page um, and they're various projects throughout this book. So this is project two. It says, let's start, gather these tools and materials. Let's tinker. And then it kind of gives you some instructions for that. So line up a handful of your materials in a row, make spaces in between each item, just like the spaces in between words in a sentence, point at each object in the row and say the name aloud. Can you follow the objects moving from left to right, just like when you are reading? Then it gives them something to make. So here they're making a rocket reader. It's pretty neat. And then let's engineer. The Mott Mots love that rockets are fast and light, lightweight and that they fly. They want to play with more things like rockets. How can the Mott Mots find other toys like rockets? Um, and so it tells you to take three pieces of paper, write one rocket description on each. Fast, lightweight, can fly. Search your home for other things that fit into those categories. So this is a really cool way to incorporate real world experiences into book learning. So here now we're on to project three and here they're doing thumbprint, pa uh, thumbprint pets. That is a tongue twister. So let's just kind of flip a little more to the back of the book now and see what they're expecting kind of a little bit more towards, towards the end. So this is, let's see. Uh, researching, reading this piece about Amelia Earhart, Introduction to a Biography, and then it asks you to circle the keyword that describes Amelia, gives a place for drawing. Um, now it's kind of talking them through kind of the writing or the pre-planning for writing a paper. Um, it's asking them to do some brainstorming. What do you wonder about Amelia Earhart when she was a kid? And then here it gives them a place to actually write their autobiography, which you could do through narration or actually having them write it themselves. So this is a great little book. There is a um, kind of reward chart thing in the background, uh, a like certificate, which is what makes the book so sturdy, I'm realizing, because this is like very, very thick, like board book material. Yep, so that's the language arts book. And then there is also, of course, the math book. We'll just see how this is similar or different. This is also the kindergarten math book. Um, so this is classifying and sorting. 
Here is the Tinker Activity, the project. Um, tells you that you need construction paper, some small items, chalk, cardboard boxes. Now I will say that these are like a lot of materials to need to make this, so um, that may influence your decision. Lay each sheet of construction paper out in front of you. Put the small objects in a bag or pillowcase and shake them up. Pull one item out at a time and place it on the matching color construction paper. If the object, object doesn't match any color, make a group next to the construction paper. Continue matching until your bag is empty. Um, there's, again, of course, a sidewalk game. Get you outside a little bit and an engineering portion. As we move through, this is about quantity. Uh, here it's counting animal tracks. That's a really cute little page, too, I have to say. Um, here is a fun little game, it looks like. Let's see how far back this little... Oh, here's some dot to dot. So this is a fun little game. Um, apparently it's like four pages and you take them out and you lay them side by side to make the board. And you have to answer questions to advance in the game. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if we just keep moving through... So here we're looking at kind of some word problems. Brian made blank bracelets. He needs to make blank more to have five. And then you correlate that to the photo, to the picture, the illustration. So if we go all the way to kind of the end-ish area, let's see. Looks like they are moving into talking about kind of shapes. So they're covering a cube, rectangular prism, a pyramid, a cylinder, and a sphere. So three-dimensional objects by the end of Math K. For Science K, which I would assume with this being, you know, Tinker Active, that this is kind of the, the science is probably the place where they're really, really going to shine. Uh, so this is talking about weather, seasons. Looks like that's kind of this first area you have your same little um, let's tinker pages severe weather so this is going to hit I think all of your you know required um, things this is talking about water all living things need water it says yeah this is a great little book so now we're talking about the sun uh, parts of plants. Yeah, this is going to be right on target for everything that you need for kindergarten. And what a gorgeous format. Bright and colorful, fun and engaging. I paid very little for these little books because I found them on Book Outlet. Um, but if I can find them on Amazon, I'll definitely link them below because I quite like them. This is People in the Environment. I might use some of the sections for this for my breakout unit for summer when we're talking about recycling. Give it a flip through and see. And then here it's talking about collisions. When two objects run into each other, they push on each other. It's called a collision. Circle the objects that are colliding. Um, yeah, so even songs are in this book. Lots of activities, lots of things to do. So that is K Science. We'll go a little bit more quickly, hopefully, through um, the Level 1 books. So again, they are all color-coded, and the Level 1 books are this graduated blue. If we look at English first, just kind of take a little bit of a look at what's coming. So it looks like it starts out with some alphabet review. By Lesson 3, or Section 3, we're already moving into word, word building. Now we're into vocabulary. This is word meanings. Working with unknown words. And they're talking here about a conjunction, so that's great. Reading literature. What was section eight? Reading informational texts. Comparing texts. Oh, this is great. My first flying lesson in learning to fly. Look how cute this is with these little dragons. Oh, I love this lesson. Uh, now we're talking about reading comprehension, punctuation, writing sentences, telling a story, and look at this story layout. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You like create kind of this 
um, timeline and you use it as your pre-planning for writing your story that, for your brainstorming sections. That's amazing. I really like that a lot. And again, it has all of the tinker things. Now they're writing informational texts and they're using research to gain understanding. So this, again, a great one. I think I like that one even better than K, to be honest. That is a great, great book. I really love how everything is laid out in there. Let's see if I can slide these books over. All right, so let's look at math really quickly. Um, so math, grade one. Counting to 120. Here is the let's the first let's engineer page for math one. Oh wow, I love this page. Look how bright and colorful this is. This is talking about place value. Comparing two digit numbers. Section four is addition and subtraction. Section five is word problems. Let's see if we can find a six. Addition and subtraction equations. This is amazing. Seven is determining unknown numbers. Oh, look at these little birds, these little tinker birds. Oh, one of my girls loves birds. Um, wow, look at this cute little fossil page as well. This is place value and addition. Let's see what section nine has for us. Place value and subtraction. Measuring and comparing lengths. Telling and writing time. Wow. And this is a data page showing how to make tally marks and keep score. This is great. These are shapes and composing shapes and dividing shapes. Yeah, so there's another one of those tinker pages. Yeah, so I'm really liking level one so far, grade one. Uh, so let's look at grade one science very quickly. So it talks about Earth, the solar system, sun, moon, and stars, parts of a plant in a little more detail than the year before, it looks like, plant growth, plant life cycle, types of animals. I have not been in the frame with the science book that entire time, so I do apologize. Number eight is animal babies. Again, look the little mama bird. She's going to feed the babies. That is so cute. Nine is animal survival. Ten is the five senses. Eleven is energy. Twelve is sound. I will say that these do get very hard to lay flat once you get back towards that board butt cover, but they are all perforated, so you can tear them out and make them into packets. 13 is light, 14 is shadows, and 15 is light and sound. So these are great. I just have two more. Um, for science, they did not have the grade two science book, which is quite sad because I'm really loving the science books above all else, as you would expect from a company called Tinker Active. Uh, so again, they're all color coded in these graduating schemes and these are purple. Grade two is purple. So let's look at English. I am gonna try to track down the science one. This is vowel sounds, nouns and pronouns. Verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Word building. I love how this is laid out. It's really nice, actually. Word sounds and meanings. Working with unknown words. Reading literature. The lion and the mouse it was one of my favorites when I was quite young. Reading informational texts. The history of skyscrapers. Very appropriate for a bunch of New York City dwellers. Comparing texts, so this is a folktale from India and a folktale from Africa, the monkey's heart and the monkey and the shark, and you have to compare and contrast them, and that is pretty cool. I really like that. 
Here is fluency, punctuation, writing sentences, and they're talking about the frog life cycle. That's so nicely illustrated. Here is the tinker for writing sentences. Use your materials to make thought bubbles, then write sentences on them to show what you're thinking. It gives you a way that you can make a jumping frog out of an index card, so that's pretty neat as well. And um, let's engineer. The Mott Mots are studying the life cycle of frogs and are thinking about their own life cycles. They've changed a lot since they were baby Mott Mots. How can the Mott Mots make models of their own life cycles? And it's asking you to brainstorm that. That is pretty cool. Number 13 is telling a story. Gives these prompts. 14 is writing informational text. And 15 is writing your opinion. So this is actually quite nice. Um, I wonder if these go higher than grade two. Because <laughs> I actually am working with a 10 year old who one of our primary focuses um, is improving our writing. So this is grade two math, and this is the first little tinker. Uh, looks like the first section was about place value, and here is the first tinker. <coughs> it's having them make a craft stick racer, so that's pretty neat. Section two is skip counting to 1,000. Three is comparing numbers. Four is even and odd. I just love how like bright and fun these are and that it's a story like you're following an adventure all the way through um, it follows these same characters all the way through number six is adding using place value seven is subtracting using place value look how neat this is it's kind of rock formation then we're gonna come into eight addition and subtraction with word problems Nine is measurement. Ten is length. Just the Hogwarts Express there. I'm sure it's not really because that's trademarked, but it does look very similar. Number 11 is time. 12 is money. 13 is data and graphs. 14 is shape attributes. And 15 is geometry. And this is the... Um, the page for that. So craft sticks, toothpicks, marshmallows, and small figurines or stuffed animals. Let's tinker. Shows you how to make marshmallow shapes, both two-dimensional and three-dimensional. Pretty amazing stuff. Now all of the books do have stickers at the back and they are labeled with the page to which they correspond. For the activity on page 73, 105, 113, and this is these are the stickers for the reward chart so there you go here is a place to put your math badge your science badge and your english arts badge and they're in here you punch this paper out along the dotted line and you get to bring a little badge out which i'm not going to do because i want to save that for whichever child actually completes this book so yeah these are the tinker active books like I said, I kind of bought them a little bit on a whim because I know a lot of people are looking for summer things. I'm still adding and taking away from our summer things all the time. This is a really great, well-rounded curriculum, I think. Uh, I think these books would be great for additional practice. They, to me, seem like they are really well thought out, really well laid out. The way that they cover subjects and then every year it seems like you kind of come back and hit on them and deepen them a little bit more they've really put a lot of thought into creating this material so i'm really pleased to have them i am definitely going to look on amazon for um to see if i can find the other grade two book and also if they do more than kindergarten first and second grade because i like them that much so i hope you have enjoyed them as well Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.